We're back from Chicago, back from Intelligentsia Cup. This is stage one in Beverly of a 10-day stage race with three road races. This uh, stage one is the Beverly Crit in um, Beverly, Illinois. And you can see it was a wet day, a little bit hilly, really technical course. Everyone's thirsty for that first win. This was uh, a pretty, pretty risky, dangerous first day. You had fresh rain on fresh pavement with fresh paint lines. So it's like the trifecta. It was uh, really slick out there and really dangerous. I didn't know what to expect coming into this first day. So uh, I'll just show you guys just the, fu the full first lap here. Kind of talk about some of the, the heavy hitters who came out. There were three UCI Continental teams. One of them is uh, right that, that guy right there in front of me with the white top and the orange bibs. Canadian UCI team. They are Da Vinci, and then uh, you had a German UCI team called Kernhaus. They really animated things. They were super strong. And then the American UCI Continental team that came out with the full eight rider squad was uh, Cyclists, also really talented athletes, and they really just animated every stage. So you see these these twisting corners in the rain it's either you're on full gas or you're on the brakes not much not much room to, to move around people here which really emphasizes the importance of a good lineup uh, at the start and finish before your race even begins the, the race has already begun <laughs> racers will know what I'm talking about getting getting a good uh, lineup is important so um, we're coming into the last corner here which was probably the most dangerous corner because it was down this little hill and then it was uh, this fresh pavement with those crosswalk lines painted white. Really slick. So it's really hard to rail that, that corner and feel confident about it. And then you're just you're on, on full gas for this long start finish straight away. Probably probably good four hundred meters from that corner to the actual finish. But check out the banners here. Check out the Chicago fans, the Beverly fans coming out in full numbers, even though the it was a rainy day and the weather was kinda crap, but Man, I gotta hand it to these uh, these Chicago fans. They were pretty diehard, and they know how to put on a fun race. The way these the way these uh, races win is they were more like a like a festival, kind of celebrating the each town they were in, food trucks, live music, that sort of thing. So here we are. We're we're jamming it. Four laps in. There's already a break of three that's gotten away, and I haven't even been able to to move up. I'm doing everything I can to move up, but it's really hard on this course. And and we're pushing hard here. And I'm wondering, you know, how, how is a group of three staying away? Because my heart's already already spiked, and I'm pushing myself. See on that on that yellow line right there too. I I bobbled a little bit, and I lost a little bit of control of my front wheel. So I'm already kind of riding that line between keeping control and losing control. And then later, I saw this video here of the three leaders and how they were taking corners and really just putting on a master class. So. Just taking faster lines through each corner probably saved them a second through each one of this, these six corners. And plus, they didn't have to deal with guys like, see, see that guy in the, in the green on the right? Keep an eye on him, passing up on the inside. Uh, taking this corner a little bit too fast, and he, yeah, he just eats it on that curb. So, uh, oh, this is nice. I get to talk a little bit more shit on these videos, because I don't really know these guys. That guy was really strong. He soloed one of the days, spoiler alert, and um, just didn't really know how to handle this bike. He'll crash more times in my videos. Just keep an eye out for that guy. So closing gaps after people crash like that. Coming around guys who are just blowing up like this Da Vinci rider in front of me means that we are riding really inefficient and I'm like desperately trying to move up this whole race. See, that's over a thousand watts on that hill. Um, again, much later in the race, there's uh, gaps starting to form ahead. So that means 1250 watts out of this corner. Later that same lap, yep, 1150, almost 1200 watts up this hill, closing gaps, and sure enough, another crash. So that just means another gap up the road that we have to close. So between the crashed out riders and just the riders who dropped out from exhaustion, we went from like 80 or 90 to 25 or 30 riders. And that's how this race went. Um, I just never saw the front of the race, despite my best efforts. Oh, and just for good measure, one lap to go, an even bigger pile up. So, um, yeah, guys, line up at the front, move up as soon as possible, especially on technical crits like this, and stay ahead of all the crashes and all the gaps. Otherwise, you're going to be like me.
kind of just suffering close to the back of the uh, group here. And eventually I just look up the road and I see this impossible gap to close ahead of me with, with on the last lap with one lap to go. And uh, I just sit up, realize it's not worth it. Roll in for about 30th place, save my legs for another day. So I have tons of content coming up, guys. I have uh, this whole series of races. I even managed to pull out some results in the stacked field. So uh, don't forget to hit subscribe. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.